Sit back and enjoy this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. And, of course, Alfred Payton. He's still out of the lineup. Well, Kevin, it looks like he is going to miss what's left of the regular season. And, but he very well could be back for playoff action. A look at San Diego's starting group. We've got Jalen Brunson. Patrick Patterson is out the out there with Aaron Baines. Then it's Culver, and it's Hernan Gomez in at the small forward. And that attacking mindset, when Culver sees an opportunity like that, he just grabs it. Now the pass to Vucevic. On lay, kicks to Vucevic. Back to Vonley. It's Young on the wing. Four on the clock. It's to Vonley. And it's off from three-point range. Brunson scanning the floor. First quarter of play, one minute played. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And Young kicks to Vucevic. Rins outside. Pays more on the wing. Shoots the three. That shot misses. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Out to the wing. Brunson finds Baines. They get it back. with it. Pass to Baines. A second chance effort. It's good. He gets it to him off the bounce pass and gets the assist. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. Looking for the first basket of the game. Feated by the Pacers in the last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. They looked overmatched today. I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard output. San Diego shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, very smooth touch on his stroke. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Vucevic dishes the baseman. Shoots over Colton. And he can't bank that one in. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first main. Hernan Gomez passes to Culver. Now Patterson launches it. Brunson, good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. With more star players changing teams. The word tampering comes up. Chris, is the league striking the right balance on enforcement? Oh, yes. Uh, and, you know, uh, Commissioner Silver, he knows all the tricks. He doesn't want it to be a police state, but he, he knows uh, a wink from a wink. Right, You know yes. what I mean? So you got to draw some lines. But, again... How do you stop it? I mean, you know, if I'm playing on the Lakers and I say, wow, you know, I think uh, Anthony Davis has the best eyebrows in the world. You know, you got to let me say that. And, and, you know, if that's recruiting, it's recruiting. So it's a fine line. And hopefully uh, the players have some fun with it. And hopefully uh, uh, Commissioner Silver does his best to police it while everyone uh, is at the same time is working through with the temper. 
Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Lenz checked in for Vucevic. Omari Spellman comes in for Noah Vonley. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Kent Bazemore. Now here's Prince. And that one, good. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I caught up with the head coach of San Diego. He said a big key for them will be containing Trey Young. Coach said he can be streaky, but when he heats up, his deep range makes him tough to defend. Kevin, make that almost impossible to defend. Thank you, David. Now, here is Young following the miss shot by Timofey Mosgo. Shoot from 12. Young's shot is off. San Diego leading by six. Here's Culver. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. I'll tell you, too. Culver has an array of moves once he gets into the paint. Young drives in. That one falls. Yeah, you can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for San Diego. We've got 123 left to play here in the first. And that one, good. Six points for Jared Culver. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Down low. And the dunk by Lynn. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Now here's Mozgov. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. San Diego moving the ball around. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. A flat-out loss of concentration. That kind of turnover will drive a coach crazy. So for the Hawks, Justin Anderson, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And it's Bertinus in for Trey Young. Rodney McGruder's checked in for San Diego. There's 37 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Anderson outside. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. San Diego leading by six. He lobs it up. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley-oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Fades away. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And we reached the end of the first quarter. San Diego leads by eight. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Hey, guys, what's your take on San Diego so far? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. The Hawks trail by eight. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at San Diego. They've got Mozgov, Ferguson out there with Jones. Then it's Jalen Brunson, and it's Magruder in at the two. And here is San Diego now, after the basket by Atlanta. Pass to Jones. Here's Ferguson. The pass to Magruder. Just four to shoot. It's deflected. Now, here's Bertans. Guarded closely. Herder passes to Spellman. Hits the jump hook. Spellman's got his first points in this one. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Back to Brunson. Here's Magruder. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Misses from close range. Now, here's Bertans. Brunson covering. 
Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Let's a floater go. That one's not going to go. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Hurt. Pass to Spellman. Basket counts. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And San Diego decides to take their first time out here. Yeah, trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. some changes. Vucevic checked in for Len. Bondley comes in for Amari Spellman. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Kevin Herter. And then for San Diego, Aaron Baines is checked in for Mozgov. Patterson comes in for Jones. And it's Juan Hernan Gomez in for Jalen Brunson. Here's Ferguson. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Paysmore. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Here's Ferguson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Passes it to Patterson. Lock at six. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For San Diego, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Atlanta making a switch here. Young's checked in. And San Diego also making a switch. Culver's checked in. And he sinks the second. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. Young taking his time here. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And having to respect Young's deep range defensively. It's hard to close off the lane. Here's Magruder. He's covered by Bazemore. And it's Patterson finishing it off. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, for Nick Vucevic, there were some great firsts last season. His son, Philip was born in December. And then Dad made his first All-Star appearance. Nick is from a basketball family. He said, I'll enjoy telling my son the stories like my dad did with me. We'll see if he likes the game of basketball. I think he will. Kevin? Well, D.A., it's certainly in his genes. Thanks for that report. It's not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Pass to Baines. San Diego moving the ball around. Now, here's Culver. He has six. Here's Juan Gomez. The offensive rebound, Baines. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Here's what the Atlanta Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Saturday and then on Monday, they'll be facing off against DeMarcus Cousins and the Miami Heat. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Here's the pass to Anderson. Here's Von Lane. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. 
54 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's McGruder. He's covered by Anderson. Atlanta with the rebound. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. Baysmore gets the bucket. It was a tough first quarter for him, but it's been a different story here in the second. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Culver with it, working on Anderson. Culver passes to Hernan Gomez. Over Young. San Diego with another miss. And it's tonight. A great positioning there from Culver. That's what allowed him to get the block. Just four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. I like that pitch play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back to the action after this word. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. It was a shaky first quarter for Atlanta. They had poor efficiency and shot selection with a field goal percentage of just 30%. That paints a pretty good picture of where their problems began. The second quarter was a huge turnaround as they came on strong, turning the tables and outscoring them by a wide margin, and now enjoy the seven-point lead. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Atlanta played? Well, they're giving higher percentage looks, good game planning, the ball is moving around. Guys aren't pulling the trigger at the first thing they see. They are definitely staying disciplined. That's a big part of what has them having the lead at the end. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any game. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Without question, Jared Culver displaying his skills today. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Atlanta leading by seven. Young and Bazemore team up in the backcourt. Vucevic is out there with Van, and it's Prince in at the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Lloyd Pierce. Now here's Brunson. After the miss from Trey Young. The bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Here's Young. Pass to Vucevic. Now, here's Bazemore. He's guarded closely, and that one drops for him. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. No, absolutely not. And in his mind, no one can stop him on that, no matter the size. Now, here's Colvin. Six points for him. Vucevic with the rebound. Oh, their movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumps. And it's Prince penetrating. Boom, he jams it straight down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, G.A. Brunson, good. 
The Hawks leading by nine. Baysmore passes to Prince. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Shots good from Young. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Now that makes them three for four from the field since halftime. Now here's Brunson. Five points in the game. And it's Patterson finishing it off. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Here's Young. Second chance shot. Here's Vucevic. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebound. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Bertinus, he's checked in for Kent Bazemore. Ferguson's checked in for San Diego. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And Vucevic, no good on that one. San Diego trails by 12. Here's Culver. Softly drops in the floater. Culver's got eight points. Continuing to tighten the handle. Something Culver knows can take his offense to the next level. Back to Vucevic. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Vucevic has got the lead up to 12 now for the Hawks. Now here's Brunson, defended by Young. Passes it to Baines. Four on the shot clock. Prince with the defensive effort. Atlanta leading by 12. He dishes it to Vonley. Young outside. No good that time. So San Diego will take it the other way. Ferguson, the pass to Baines. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. For the Hawks, Alex Lenz checked in for Vucevic. Omari Spellman comes in for Vonley. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Bertens. And then for San Diego, Mozgov. He's checked in for Patterson. Derek Jones comes in for Culver. And Rodney Magruder's subbed in for Jalen Brunson. And that one misses. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Pass to Young. Here's Spellman. On deep, Prince. That shot is off. Guys, their comeback bid had better get started. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Mugbruder passes to Baines. Shot from 12. He gets that one. Baines has got four this quarter. Atlanta with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead early. Herter passes to Spellman. Here's Young. Magruder with the rebound. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. The pass to Ferguson. Prince against Mozgov over Prince. That's good, and the Atlanta lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from Mozgov. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. They're trying to stem the tide here. But yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end.
Chiefs checked in for Aaron Baines. 111 left in the third quarter of the game. Herder passes to Prince. And here's Len. To the middle. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Here's Magruder, defended by Young. Right block shot. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Magruder. Now Young. He has seven. He kicks it to Prince. And the layup's good off the glass. Prince has got six in the quarter. San Diego trails by eight. Here's Ferguson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the paint. Here's Hernan Gomez. And the basket is good. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And here's Young from the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Young's got 10 points. The most lethal part of Young's game. His outside shot is often on the money. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Oh, yeah, no need for hero ball there. I mean, you just need to make the right basketball play outstanding dish that time. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Taking a look at San Diego. They've got Jones. Ferguson out there with Mozgov. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the four spot. It's blocked. They retain possession. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust. And that's reflected in the score. Here's Spellman. It's hauled in by San Diego. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Atlanta leading by seven. Here's Young. Goes back up. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the foul called on San Diego. Two shots. Foul. Two. Shooting two. The first one falls. San Diego with some changes. Patterson, he's checked in for Mozgov. Culver comes in for Rodney Magruder. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Ferguson. Good on both. San Diego trails by nine. Culver passes to Hernan Gomez. Here's Brunson. Another three for San Diego. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. Back to Young. Shoots over Brunson. Buried from 15 feet out. And that's 12 points for Trey Young. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. To the wing on the left. 
And Patterson kicks to Culver. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And how about the balance there from Culver? Really good at staying in control despite the D being all over. Young outside. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Shot clock at five. From the arc. That shot, no good. So San Diego will take it the other way. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Now, here's Culver. He's covered by Baysmore. And here's Culver. Yes, that goes in. Culver's got four points now in the quarter. And Culver's been aggressive as well. And his shot is going down with consistency. Here's Young. Plays it up off the glass. Young's got ten points here in the second half. How about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half, and, and now he's the man for this. And San Diego calls time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Atlanta making some changes. Vucevic check in for Len. Noah Vonley comes in for Amari Spellman. And it's Prince in for Kevin Herter. And San Diego also making a switch. Baines is checked in. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During the break, I heard what San Diego's coach was telling the team. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappy. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Vucevic and Baines pulls it down. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup. That'll get the whole team pumped up. To the right side. Runs in the pass to Baines. Now, here's Culver. He's covered by Baysmore. San Diego needs to get off a shot. Here's Brunson. Another three for San Diego. Fantastic bomb there, just especially against the taller defender. And Baysmore gets to Vonley. Young with no one around. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Game tightening up. No problem. Put the ball in Young's hand and let the young fella go to work. And San Diego calls time here. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system there and now, it, it just isn't getting it done. chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Trey Young. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. And his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Juan Herman Gomez, who's checked in for Jones. Culver passes to Herman Gomez. San Diego moving the ball around. To Patterson from deep three-point range can't hit that one. Bad shots. This is the time to work the ball to side and get the best shot possible. That's the way to make the comeback happen. Shot up two there and a depth mid-range shooter as well. All Young needs is a little breathing room, and he set the fire. San Diego trails by six. Culver with it. One eleven left in the game. Got it. 
and he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. That's a huge shot from Culver, proving that he can be clutch. Wow. Young, right side. It's hauled in by San Diego. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brunson the pass to Culver. Back to Brunson. Three-pointer. He can't get that one. So Atlanta will take it the other way. And they go to the intentional foul. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Young outside. Six to shoot. Unloads. And that one swishes right in. And the Hawks lead by six. And relentless in their approach. Even with the game firmly in hand. But, yeah, this is no letter. I mean, you know, this is the kind of hard-nosed competitiveness that wins games. And San Diego calls time here. They trail by six. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Tries a three off the inbound. Brunson, no good. And he commits the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Outside Hill. San Diego with another miss. And so the Hawks take the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they are going to walk away with the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Webber, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.